All right. So we're going to do a soulmate reading for the collective. Um, I'm going to have you guys pick a card. And whatever card you pick, this is the reading we're going to do. So you guys may get different readings depending on which number you pick. So we're going to choose numbers 3, 6, or 9. 3, 6, or 9. This is a soulmate reading. Creator of all things, please give me insight for the collective soulmates. Now, soulmates don't necessarily mean lovers. They can also be friends. They can be family members. Keep an open mind because the message is for that. Hey, can you stop all that loud barking? Overall, there is the judgment card. And this talks about that. Hey, don't make me come over there. The judgment card talks about a rebirth of something that was once dead. If you can see that this is the universe making something happen. This is not something that you have to do. Card number three. If you pick card number three, I feel like your soulmate is coming back. This is something that has to happen. Your soulmate is connected to you. And even though that they were trying to get away from you, obviously that's not going to work. You will be having a, a reconnection with this person. If you pick card six, you have the full card reverse. What I'm kind of sensing here is there is some kind of energy that is pulling you apart from somebody. That uh, you're, you do have a soulmate, but this is someone who maybe you guys don't get along. This person's got the full card reversed. So this is telling me that they don't want to either take a leap of faith. They don't want to do not pass go, do not collect $200 kind of thing. And this is the kind of thing where it feels like someone's falling off a cliff or being a fool or being an idiot. This is what I'm kind of sensing and that that you're getting the awareness of this. And like maybe you've been being played the fool. I feel like with you and your soulmate, <laughs> y'all have kind of like a, a, a frenemy kind of thing going on here. And, th and this is a person who, you and your soulmate, this is a person who, what I'm, what I'm getting, what is the word? Agitates you or antagonizes, antagonizes you. If you pick card nine, you have the nine of cups. Your soulmate, I'm kind of sensitive with this, the nine of cups, this is a very dreamy energy, a fantasy. Like maybe your your soul, maybe you and your soulmate are disconnected, and y'all are fantasizing about each other. Maybe you've seen your soulmate in a dream. I'm seeing like many lifetimes you guys have been together, and then maybe come to a time maybe you haven't met them yet, and you're about to meet them. Because this all these cups is like fantasy and dreaming. Um, you may not be close to your soulmate right now, but some they may be coming into your life. But you guys have already had like many past lifetimes together. And I feel like there's you're going to see your soulmate in a dream. And then all of a sudden they're going to pop up and you're going to be like, wait a minute. You're that person I was dreaming about. Also, it could be that you already know your soulmate. You guys have been apart and you've been on each other's mind so much. Like you've been dreaming about this person. You can't stop. You've met this person before. You can't you can't stop thinking about them. You, you dream about them all the time because they're connected to you. And same for them, too. They're thinking about you as well. All right, so let me get some more. Where am I for time? Six minutes. All right, so I'm gonna pull. Oh, ooh, let's pull a, a message for your soulmate. What is your soulmate thinking about you right now? Pick card one, two, or three. Can you hear me? One, two, or three. All right. If you pick card number one, the message here is I want to be more than just friends. This person kind of feels like they are in the friend zone and they want to come out. If you pick card number two, I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Wow. I'm grateful for the spiritual lesson. I feel like you guys have been going through some things. Like I said, once again, a spiritual lesson also could mean that you don't know this person yet, but they're coming. Card number three, just being close to you is intoxicating. Being near you is intoxicating. This person, you guys are very magnetically connected. You guys are like, you're like a drug to them for real there's it's it's almost i feel in a very addictive energy between both of you it's hard to keep each other away from each other anyways that's your soulmate reading let me know what you think and make your reality happen because if you don't do it then who will talk to you guys later